everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had six drivers seeing action, so let's get right to the results. Anthony Alfredo was at the famed paperclip, Martinsville Speedway, for some true short track racing. Anthony had a great run in his number 38 Dude Wipe Chevrolet, finishing on the lead lap in 20th position. Let's get a post-race recap from Anthony. Top 20 here at Martinsville Speedway and on the lead lap, ran all 500 laps today. Very proud of our Front Row Motorsports team. We had a great Halloween themed Dude Wipe Ford Mustang today. Executed all day long, um, just kept ourselves in the right spot and capitalized when it mattered most. So it feels good to have one our, go our way. I love short track racing. Great job, Anthony. Up next, Phoenix Raceway on November the 7th for the final NASCAR Cup Series race of the year. Sheldon Creed, the reigning NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion, entered the race at Martinsville Speedway five points above the playoff cut line. Sheldon started fourth and ran in the top five for the first half of the race, finishing stage one in second and stage two in third, gaining valuable points. As the race progressed, different pitch strategies would find Sheldon back in traffic, putting him in some difficult positions on restarts. Contact between two other trucks sent Sheldon into the wall, resulting in major right front damage. Sheldon would eventually finish ninth, three points shy of advancing. Up next, Phoenix Raceway, where Sheldon will compete in both the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Jesse Love was at Nashville Fairground Speedway for the 37th running of the All-American 300, piloting the number 21 Chris Wimmer Motorsports Mobile One Toyota. The weekend was hampered by rain that resulted in limited practice time and forced group qualifying where Jesse qualified seventh out of 32 cars. Jesse ran in the top 10 for most of the race that saw 50 laps run under yellow, but the team just couldn't get the car dialed in like they wanted, resulting in a 13th place finish. Up next for Jesse, championship weekend at Phoenix Raceway, where Jesse will attempt to repeat as the ARCA West Series champion on Saturday. Look for another history-making announcement coming out on Friday about Jesse Love. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll check in on more of the Race Face family of drivers. Plus, we have a free gift just for you, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack, or video production to keep you connected with your fans, then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com, where winning counts. Hi, I'm Joe Valento, and you're watching Race Face TV. Jake Bowman turned in an amazing performance in the All-American 100 at Nashville Fairground Speedway. This was Jake's first time to race at this historic track. The young 14-year-old California driver qualified 7th and then brought home a top 10 finish in 7th that saw 38 cars take the green flag. Congratulations, Jake, on a great performance. Up next for Jake, Legend Cars at Las Vegas Motor Speedway's Bullring on November the 6th. Caden Honeycutt was back in the dirt this weekend at I-37 Raceway in both a super mod and factory stock. Let's check in with Caden for a post-race recap. Hey everybody, it's Caden Honeycutt here. We just got back from I-37 Speedway in Pleasanton, Texas uh, in the sport mod and factory stock. Uh, we had a rough weekend in the sport mod. Just wasn't very fast, um, not really sure why but we're gonna figure out here this whole week and see what's up. Um, started 20th on Friday, ended up finishing seventh. Uh, we nosed sixth right there at the line, so we ultimately finished seventh. Uh, on Saturday, uh, same deal, we just struggled all, all day and uh, started 17th and we got ultimately on DNF, uh, we got caught up in a big old pile up on the front stretch and just took us out of the race, um, was unable to limp on, but in um, the factory stock, we did really well. Um, 
start 24th on Friday and ended up finishing second. And then on Saturday, we won our heat race from fifth and uh, we started on the pole and just ultimately finished second, just in the wrong place at the wrong time uh, on, the, on the lane choice there. But um, I had a decent weekend in the factory stock and just had a, a tough weekend in the sport mod. But we're going to be back at Kennedale Speedway Park, uh, 1500 to win the sport mod, 1000 win in the factory stock. Thank you so much to Alan Alexander for the opportunity and Sotex Motorsports, and we'll see everybody this weekend. Up next for Caden, double duty at Kennendale Speedway for a $1,500 to win sport mod and a $1,000 to win factory stock. Carter Whalen was at Metro Atlanta QMA for a rare 100 lap event. Let's check in with Carter for a post race recap. Happy Halloween, we just got back from Metro Quarter Midget Association. We're out here in the shop working on the pro truck. Me and my brother ran the 100 lappers. I finished first. He finished the second. Can't say enough about our sponsors, the Cox family, Mark Tuggle RV, Conquest Strategic Marketing, David Medina for Cartography, and Ultimate QM. Now, how bad do you think that that young man wants to get behind the wheel of that pro truck? Up next for Carter, North Georgia QMA this weekend for the final points race of the year where he is trying to secure a heavy Honda championship. Other race face drivers seeing action this weekend include Joey East, who will be at Phoenix Raceway on Saturday the 6th, where he finds himself only five points out of first for the ARCA Series West Championship. Connor Mozak returns to the Trans Am TA2 Series at Circuit of Americas on November the 6th for the final race of the year. I can't even imagine how cool it would be to race at that awesome facility. The Raceface family of drivers would like to thank all of our loyal fans by giving you a free one-year membership in the Speed Zone Mall to help you save money and earn cash back when shopping online at over 2,500 of your favorite stores. It's simple. Visit your favorite Raceface driver's website, go to the Fan Zone, and click on Free Membership. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face Drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.